I have had the privilege of working with a very talented voiceover artist, Miss Norma Jean Gradsky. And right now, I would like to talk about Miss Gradsky's latest project, a summary of Simon Sabag Montefiore's epic The Romanovs, 1613-1918. The Romanovs were the most successful dynasty of modern times, ruling a sixth of the world's surface for three centuries. How did one family turn a war-ruined principality into the world's greatest empire, and how did they lose it all? Please enjoy the following promotional excerpt from the audiobook itself, professionally narrated by Norma Jean Gradsky, and soon to be available at audible.com. Introduction Written by Simon Sabag Montefiore, The Romanovs, 1613-1918, is a book showcasing the Romanov dynasty of Russia during their 300-year rule. It discusses many of the personalities, actions, and choices the family made, including many of their romantic and sexual relationships. The author used many quotations throughout the book, lifted directly from the diaries and letters written by the Romanovs. Most of these were unpublished. By sharing the history of the Romanovs, the author gives the reader a glimpse of how the Russian Empire rose into prominence. It started in 1598. It was the year the last descendant of Ivan the Terrible, Feodor Ivanovich, died, and the year the Romanovs began. It was a year marked by the many fake heirs, dubbed as the false Dmitri, attempting to claim rights to the throne. During the same period, Russia underwent a horrendous famine while Lithuanian and Polish troops lay siege to the country. All of the chaos during this time prompted the National Assembly to instill Michael Fyodorovich, a nephew of the former Tsarina, as the new monarch. During this time, Michael was underage, so could not yet rule. Thus, his father, Filaret, the patriarch of Russia, was hailed as the first true Romanov. As years passed, Filaret proved to be an effective ruler, slowly transforming the problematic feudal Russian Empire into a strong monarchy. Possibly, the most vital czar to come out of this transition was Peter the Great, who began ruling in 1682. Filled with energy and also being very large, he is credited for modernizing the navy and army while also fighting a long war and winning against Charles XII of Sweden. Catherine the Great expanded the empire, crushing the Turkish forces during the War of 1770 and instilling Russia as a great power in southeastern Europe. The dynasty was further expanded by Alexander I, who led Russia to win against France during the Napoleonic Wars. He defeated Napoleon with help from the West, and this allowed the Russian army to march into Paris. Even though it was Russia that defeated Napoleon, democratic French ideals took hold and weakened the Russian Empire. By 1861, Alexander II removed serfdom in the country, abolishing slavery and leading the country to move to an industrial economy. However, the longing for greater freedom escalated, and various communist rebels and anarchists attempted to assassinate Alexander II. They tried several times before finally succeeding in 1881. Alexander II's gruesome death would signal the fall of the Romanov ruling 40 years later, in 1896, Nicholas II was crowned, and despite his efforts to further modernize and generate reforms, they didn't materialize. He also took on the monk Rasputin as his advisor, which caused alienation among his supporters and critics. Nicholas's reign was taken over by the Communist Revolution in 1917. Nicholas and his family were all killed to prevent the Romanov dynasty from ever returning to power, thus ending the Romanovs' reign.